Welcome back to another roster update video. As always, we have the best picks in the community. I do all the work. I have all the picks down. Have I do all the work so you guys do not have to do any work. Just listen and uh, become a stub millionaire with all of us. So for the people that do not know, we do have a brand new Discord. If any of you guys want to join, I'm trying to create the best place for MLB uh, general chat, roster update chat. If you guys want to get your account grinded, you know what I mean? You guys want some stubs, uh, something's too hard to get, or don't have time, whatever it is, we have account grinding. If you guys want to get paid to uh, play and, and actually get paid to play the game, we have it all here on the Discord. I am also looking for Discord mods. We have about 200 people and uh, we have no mods. So I'm looking to pay like two to four people to become a mod and really take over this uh, Discord because I don't really have time to run it that much. Um, but yeah, I'm down to pay one of you guys. So if one of you guys want to become a mod of this discord and like we all just come together and make a really dope discord, let me know, email me or, uh, you guys can DM me on discord as well, but, uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right. First things first, Shohei Otani, the greatest player of all time. I'm actually an angels fan. I know I'm a little bit of a, shouldn't be wearing an ace hat as an angels fan, but Otani is one of the best players right now. He's definitely going to win AL MVP unless a judge comes back and goes crazy again, which he probably will, to be honest. But um, Otani's last 13 games, he has six home runs. He's hitting 423, and he has five doubles, one triple, all while pitching a 3.3 ERA, uh, 76 innings, and 102 strikeouts on the year. Um, he's going crazy. Uh, I would buy him personally anything under 150k. I've been talking about Otani for a long time. He's 120k right now. I think I, I think he should be the most valuable card in the game. Uh, Judge was about 200k before he got hurt. I think Otani will reclaim the number one card in the game. I think he's gonna go 97, 98 with this new update. And um, yeah, if you guys have a lot of stubs, I would definitely invest in Otani heavy. I think he'll go up uh, pretty high. All right, next on the list, we got Corbin Carroll. This guy is a rookie, I believe, as far as I know. He's a rookie going insane. If any of you guys play fantasy uh, baseball, um, this guy's a goat for you. You know what I mean? You guys are lucky to, if you guys drafted him or got him off the waiver wire or whatever it is. Um, this guy's going crazy. The last 12 games, he's hitting 400, um, five home runs, two triples, four doubles, and three for three with stolen bases. Not that crazy for him, considering this guy's really fast. So three, three out of three stolen bases, nothing crazy. But um, right now he's 3K. That's only because he is supercharged. I think he's going to go down to like 1, 1 1.5, 1.7K range right around there. So um, I'm buying him anywhere around there. Anything under like 2.5K, 2.8K around there, I'm buying him anything under that. Um, unless this guy goes on a crazy slump, I don't see him not being a diamond next update. He's uh, He's been one of the better players in the league right now, and he's going crazy, hitting 400 the last 12 games. So um, I don't see a I don't see a possibility where he doesn't go diamond, to be honest, unless he goes on a crazy bad slump. All right, next on the list is a kind of scary card, Acuna. Um, everyone that watches my videos or is in the Discord has a love hate relationship with uh, Acuna. Every single roster update, he goes to like 30, 40, 50 k. And then he just drops off. He goes back down to 15K right after the roster update. Um, I don't quite know why. I don't know why he keeps dropping. I think it's just a free sell, to be honest. Just keep buying them. Um, but regardless, he's going crazy. Uh, last 12 games, he's hitting 370, four home runs, five doubles, and six stolen bases. I'm buying him anything under 30K. I don't see a possibility of him being below 30K come roster update. Um, the thing with him, though... Normally, I would say hold him, but this guy drops after every roster update. So, I'm going to buy him and just sell him right before the roster update. And uh, maybe keep a couple just to see. Um, maybe he'll turn into a Tatis where he keeps his value for once. Um, a little bit higher value, I should say. Um, but, yeah, I think Acuna should be a lot higher overall of an overall. I have no idea why he's so low at all. It makes no sense to me. 15K for a really good card is pretty crazy. So, um. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how he does. I I would uh, buy him anything under 30k and uh, sell him right before the roster update when he's about 40, 50k probably. All right. So speaking of Tatis, another good card. Tatis is going pretty crazy this year, especially the last 12 games. He's hitting 417, five home runs, eight doubles, and he's five for five in stolen bases. Tatis is a great card. He plays everywhere. Um, 
a very valuable card 99 arm 90 speed good stats yeah i'm buying tatis anything under 60k i think he's a great card to invest in i think he's gonna get upgraded one or two overalls depending on how good he plays before the roster update definitely a good card to invest in to get you like 10 20k sell him I would probably sell him right before the roster update because it seems like uh, every big card drops off really bad after the roster update this year. So buy him cheap and then just sell him right before the roster update. Make 10, 20K per card. All right, Eduardo Rodriguez. Um, not too many people are talking about this guy. I don't really know why. He's, uh, he's leading the league with ERA, 2.13 ERA. His last two games, he has 11 innings pitch, only three earned runs and 15 strikeouts. Um, he's very cheap right now. He's, I think, um, uh, 81 overall quick sells for 600. Let me double check that. I'm pretty sure that's what they quick sell for. Uh, 81 quick sells for 600. So he's 85 stubs over quick sell value um, as 81. So... You know what I mean? I, I would buy this card anything under like 900, even even a thousand. I could buy him at. I think he's gonna go to 82, 83. I think he's easily going to 83, and uh, 83 quick sells for 1.2k. So right there, you're pretty much getting double your uh, investment right there. All right, another good pitcher, Nathan Eovaldi, Evaldi, however you say his last name. Someone correct me in the comments. Last three innings pitch, or last three games, 16.1 innings pitch, four earned runs, and 17 strikeouts. He's just having a really good year all around. I think he deserves another upgrade. Um, whether he goes to 84 or diamond, who knows? If he has one more good start, I think for sure he's going diamond. But uh, right now, I would definitely buy him at 1.3k. Um, an 84 overall will quick sell for 1.5k. So every single card you buy, you're getting at least 200 stubs profit. And if he has a good start, he could possibly go diamond. And you guys can just sell him on the hype. Um, if he goes diamond, he's gonna, he's gonna be at least 3k stubs. Um, so yeah, come roster update, I think he'll be like 2k, 2.5, unless he has a bad start. So uh, just keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on his starts. And um, this card could definitely be valuable. All right, next on the list, we got Framber Valdez. Um, I don't see any reason why I guess shouldn't buy this card. Last three starts, he has 19 innings pitch, only four earned runs, and 18 strikeouts. Um, there's nothing to say. Framber Valdez is probably the Astros' best pitcher right now. Maybe you can make a uh, an argument for Christian Javier. But, um, yeah, I think this card, without a doubt, should go diamond unless he has a really bad start. <coughs> He's been a solid pitcher all year long. And uh, yeah, I don't see a reason why he doesn't go diamond. As of right now, if you buy him right now, he will quick sell for 3K. So that's a 1.2K profit. If he goes diamond, he only needs one overall to an 85 overall with quick sells for 3K. All right, Kevin Gosman will be our last pick of the video. Let me know in the comments who your favorite pick is, whether it was in this video or not. Let me know your uh, favorite picks for this roster update. But Kevin Gosman, one of my iffy picks. I like him. The only problem is his last start, he went 4.2 innings with six earned runs. Really bad. But his last two starts, or his previous two starts, besides the six earned run uh, outing, he's pitching 13.2 innings, 24 strikeouts, and only one earned run, um, which is pretty is, a, is an insane stat line. So um one bad start doesn't necessarily mean he's gonna get downgraded or he won't get upgraded if he has one more good start i think he should go to at least an 84 and possibly a diamond i think he's pitching that good on the year i believe he's leading the league in strikeouts as of right now i would look and wait for his next start if he has a good start easily buy this card anything under 2.5k because he should go diamond i don't see why he won it and uh, yeah, as you guys can tell, he's 1.6K. So a lot of people are already seeing the same thing I'm seeing. And yeah, that is the end of today's video. Let me know who you guys are investing in. Make sure you guys join the Discord. The link will be in the description. Hit me up on Twitter, IG, or email if you guys need your account grinded and you guys have any questions. Just DM me, email me, whatever you guys have to do. I'm glad to help you guys out and answer any questions you guys have. And uh, yeah, don't forget to drop a sub if you guys are new. Turn on the noties and uh, drop a like. If you guys are still here and uh, comment, uh, comment investment Mamba. You guys made it to the very end. As always, I appreciate you guys. Let's make this, let's make these stubs. I'll see you guys in the Discord or Twitter. Peace out, boys.